Today we're going to learn about selective reading, benefits and risks by Jaquar Brown and Bredora Turner. Selective breeding is the process of breeding plants or animals to produce desirable characteristics or to eliminate undesirable traits. Heritability of a trait is said to be the proportion of the phenotypic variance that is due to genetic differences among individuals. Now I know you may be wondering how does heritability relate to selective breeding and the answer is the breeder's equation. The breeder's equation tells us how strong response how strong the response to selection will be as a result of the additive genetic variance of a trait and how that selection is and how that selection is applied to that variation. In order to selectively breed plants or animals, a male and female must display desired traits and are mated together to produce offspring that express these traits. The more the, the more these traits are expressed in offspring, the more heritable they are said to be. Simply put, the the traits are easily inherited from one generation to the next. Selective breeding eventually leads to directional selection. This is a type of natural selection which favors an individual at one end of, the, of a trait distribution. This causes, alleles to, this causes alleles that are not favored to become less frequent over time. Also, because most plants and animals that are selectively bred are closely related, they, the offspring usually, usually suffer from inbreeding depression. Inbreeding depression is simply the reduction of fitness of an individual due to inbreeding, inbreeding and, is called, and, and is caused by the expression of rare recessive alleles being expressed in a homozygous state. Okay, so now we are on to the topic of guppies and the genetic effects of selective breeding. So among selectively bred guppies with large and small brain sizes relative to body size, it was found that relative brain size evolved rapidly in response to divergent selection in both sexes. And so in this experiment, they selected large and small guppies relative to brain size and they proceeded to test cognitive ability by associating a specific number of symbols with food and tested to see whether the guppies learned to discriminate between symbols. So this figure displays the small and large brain females and males relative to the correct number of symbols each sex chose. The results show that large brain females outperform the small brain females in the learning task but the large and small brain males didn't display any differences of cognitive ability. The interaction caused by large brain females outperforming small brain females provided direct evidence for a positive association between relative brain size and cognitive ability. And so another experiment was done on the guppies to see how body size, sex, and brain size had an effect on the gut size relative to the offspring number. And even though female guppies with larger brain sizes benefited from increased cognitive ability, the figure displays how male and female guppies with larger brain sizes have a smaller gut mass. The gut size is different by 8% in females and 20% in males. And there is also a decreased number of offspring relative to the small brain guppies. Offspring number was 19% lower in large brain guppies, which showed that evolution of a larger brain has a negative effect on a reproductive, on a reproductive trait. And as we know, at offspring number is one of the key determinants of lifetime reproductive success, and reduction in this trait is likely to result in fitness costs. Overall view of selective breeding. Selective breeding is a process of breeding plants or animals to produce desirable traits. These traits are said to be heritable and can be passed from one generation to the next. The inheritance of these traits eventually, eventually leads to directional selection. This type of selection causes unfavorable alleles, traits that are being, being bred against, to become less frequent over time, while other alleles, traits that are being bred for, become more frequent over time. The breeding of closely related plants or animals eventually leads to inbreeding depression, which is the, the is the reduction of, of an individual's fitness that is due to inbreeding.